this is the second annual uh, Chrono Kristen Armstrong, which means time trial, the race against the clock. And um, that's the event that I competed in in all of my Olympic Games. And so part of my legacy, thank you to J.A. Catherine Albertson's Foundation for helping and being a partner of this event. I'm able to actually provide opportunity for the next generation in the event that I, I won three golds in. So it means a lot to me. And having this event in Glens Ferry was absolutely amazing. The whole town got behind it. The 28 kilometer race took cyclists on the old Oregon Trail Road. Chloe Digert won the women's race and was clocked going over 50 miles an hour near the finish line. Yeah, it's uh, really special, especially, you know, getting second last year. So I'm, I'm happy to, you know, be on the podium and on the top step this year. Digert races for Team Show Air Cycling based out of Boise. And this team will try to win the Twilight Criterium for the fourth year in a row. I've heard it brings about 20,000 people out to the event. So it's uh, always nice to have big crowds and a lot of people cheering. But um, it's even more special when you have, you know, the group of girls with you behind you. And the Twilight Criterium showcases how popular cycling is in Boise. We're all about active lifestyle. We're all about really teaching and, and, and being part of an active community. I think that's why a lot of us live in Boise, Idaho, and we love it so much. It's also a family-friendly event, and children have the opportunity to ride with Kristen Armstrong at the kids' race. Huge activity. There's a huge expo. Lots of great things for families to do, but bring your kids down and ride with me. Steve Dent, six on your side.